In this video, I'll be explaining how we can resolve any vector into two perpendicular components. Usually, these are horizontal and vertical components. However, it is often asked of us in exams to calculate the parallel and perpendicular components. The methods are identical, we just need to follow the same steps each time. Here is a vector with a magnitude of 20 newtons at an angle of 38 degrees from the horizontal. Let's resolve it into its two components. We can draw our components on. Here is the horizontal component, and here is the vertical component. The horizontal component is referred to in your formula sheet as fx, and the vertical component is referred to in your formula sheet as fy. The component that is touching our angle, this horizontal vector in this case, is always calculated by multiplying the size of the vector by the cosine of the angle. So in this case, the horizontal component will be 20 cos 38, which equals 15.8 newtons. The component of the vector not touching the angle, in this case, the vertical component, is always calculated by multiplying the magnitude of the vector by the sine of the angle. So in this case, it will be 20 multiplied by sine of 38 degrees, which is equal to 12.3 newtons. So there we have one vector divided into its horizontal and vertical components. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, the two components that we resolve a vector into do not have to be horizontal and vertical as long as they are perpendicular to each other. In this example here we have a vector acting vertically downwards. This is the weight of a box resting on a slope but because it is a weight it must be acting vertically. The angle between the slope and the direction of this vector is 55 degrees. We can resolve this vector into two components. One component that is acting perpendicular to the slope or into the slope and a second component that is acting parallel to the slope or down the slope. Exactly as before the component that is touching the angle in this case the component acting down the slope can be calculated by multiplying the magnitude of the vector by the cosine of the angle. So in this case the component acting down the slope will be equal to 200 cos 55 which is equal to 115 newtons. Likewise the component that is acting into the slope, the perpendicular component, is not touching the angle therefore we can say that this one is 200 multiplied by sine 55 degrees, which equals 164 newtons. What's important to note here is that the method is exactly the same as if you were doing it for horizontal and vertical components, it's just the whole arrangement has been uh, rotated, rotated through some angle or flipped. So just focus on where the angle is, that one will be the cosine, and where the angle is not will be the sine. 